Hello guys, welcome to Malkeet Singh Academy. This is your host, Jaskira Singh. In this video guys, uh, I'm going to share with you that how to use array formula in Google Sheet mobile application. So before starting, uh, let me explain why to use array formula. So why it is very helpful for you and how you can use this in Sheets mobile application. So imagine uh, we have this data set you can see on the screen shows showing different quantities and their cost for different products. And we want to calculate the total cost of all the products. So we could easily do it by adding some formula in columns or rows, or we could also use the total formula and other things. However, uh, array formula, let us skip all these steps of counting and applying different functions on different data sets. And it let us to get straight into our answer. So with a single formula, so that is array formula. So let's start with this video guys and don't forget to subscribe. I keep posting these kind of videos on my channel. To understand about this array formula, I have already created a data set here. So in this data set, I have added some Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads. Here you can see. So their corresponding status, cost, impression and clicks. So that is for the month of March. Similarly, different cost and different impressions for the month of April. So maybe I have more months. So what if I want to calculate the total cost of Facebook ads, Google ads and Instagram ads? One thing I can do, I can come here and I can add them manually by cell numbers. But here in Google Sheet, there is a array formula for that, which can calculate the array of values according to the columns or according to the rows. So here we have rows. So I want to add Facebook ad for the month of March and similarly I want to add Facebook ad for the month of April. So here I'm going to apply this formula here in the cost. So this is going to calculate the total cost that is going to come for the both March and April. So maybe you have more months from March to December. So it will be very easier if you are applying array formula here. So I'm going to click here on the cost cell here just below the cost so I'm going to write equal to and I'm going to click on a here so array formula so here I have to provide the array of values so the value is cost so I'm going to select that and up to this point so c2 to c4 so this is my range 1 and I'm going to add this range to the month of April so this is the March range and this is our April range so I'm going to select that okay so c2 to c4 plus c7 to c9 so this array formula is going to add the corresponding values of facebook ads google ads and instagram ads so if i click okay so here you can see it has done the total cost for facebook 23 13 plus 10 is 23 and 4 plus 8 is 12 and 23 plus 21 is 44 so this is very useful when you are dealing with such kind of data set here so that is all guys from my side. I hope uh, you find this video helpful and if you are new to Google Sheet and want to learn completely about it, you can definitely check this video here and I have explained every topic here and everything about Google Sheet. So if you deal with Google Sheet a lot and you want to learn about Google Sheet, so you definitely go through this link. So that is all from my side guys. See you soon. Bye bye.